Live from downtown Bakersfield, 23 ABC News starts now. A former Bakersfield principal returning to court accused of murdering her husband six years ago when Leslie Chance is set to appear in the courtroom. Plus a special ceremony for Cal State Bakersfield's latest edition. We'll have more on the Inclusive Center straight ahead. And a good morning. Thanks for staying with 23 ABC News as we start the 6 o'clock hour. I'm Mike Hart. And I'm Melissa Flores. We're going to turn to Chief Meteorologist Elena Rusk. We had a uh, mm -hmm. active week last <laughs> week, and it's not going to stop. It's not going to stop. Yeah, so we were so dry and so mm -hmm. late to start the wet season. Into rain. Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah, it's really coming at us. <laughs> it was yeah. fascinating. Yes, and we are not done yet. So there's a system right now heading towards Central California. It's soaking from San Francisco and just a little further south of there. It's going to sag into Fresno today, but we're looking to stay dry this far south, at least for now. We're reintroducing those rain chances tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning really looks like the soaking out there. So you see, it looks like on the radar right now there is rain here in Bakersfield. That's what came through overnight, and really much of it was up to the north with that concentration. So I'm still just calling for a 20% chance of scattered showers, but nothing like that inch of rain they are seeing in Northern California, in addition to what they had yesterday. 56 here in Bakersfield now for your morning low. 30s up in the mountains. You see Tatchby Fraser Park both at 37. So you haven't gotten down to freezing, but we're still dealing with so much ice on those roadways and we have really slick conditions for our higher elevations. Here in Bakersfield, 56 now, 64 later. I'll talk about that much better chance of rain for Wednesday coming up, but I want to show you the passes, which are open and dry, but like I mentioned, those side mountain roads still really slick. Alyssa, what does that mean for schools now? Yeah, that is causing some delays this morning for schools in our mountain communities. We're taking a look at Peak to Peak Mountain Charter, Tohono Unified School District, and Tehachapi Unified School District. Kiddos there get to sleep in this morning. All three school districts on a two-hour snow and ice delay. We don't expect that to turn into a closure, but of course, stay with us this morning because we're going to continue tracking that. Now the news, a former elementary school principal charged with gunning down her husband is set to return to court this morning. Proceedings will move forward in the retrial of Leslie Chance beginning at 9 a.m. Now in June, Chance's case ended in a mistrial when the public defender's office declared a conflict of interest in representing her. Chance is accused of killing her husband Todd back in 2013. She's facing a charge of first degree murder. And also in court this morning, a man accused of killing a woman in an abandoned home in Tehachapi. 35-year-old Alejandro Sanchez is accused of shooting 23-year-old Cheyenne Watkins in the back of the head in June of last year, then fleeing the county. He was arrested months later in Santa Monica, where he was arrested and charged with first-degree murder. Sanchez will be in court at 9 o'clock this morning. The Bakersfield Police Department is asking for the community's help in identifying a suspect wanted for indecent exposure. The department received several phone calls from women reporting a black man in his 20s exposing himself to them near their apartment complex areas. The offenses happened between 1 and 2 a.m. yesterday morning at multiple locations throughout southwest Bakersfield. Police say they aren't able to specify exact locations of the incidents. The suspect is described as a black male in his 20s who's approximately six feet tall with a slim build and light complexion. He was last seen wearing a black hooded sweatshirt and blue or purple shorts. Anyone with information regarding this case is encouraged to call BPD at 327-7111. Bakersfield will be recognizing World AIDS Day this week, and as always, they are urging that people go out and get screened for the deadly disease. Clinica Sierra Vista will be helping people learn more about AIDS and even get tested. The World Day AIDS Day Awareness Conference is a free event beginning at 10 o'clock this morning, running until 2 this afternoon. The nonprofit organization is holding the event at the 34th Street Community Health Center. Several guest speakers will be in attendance where they'll provide information about this deadly disease. And this week, CSUB is set to unveil a new campus center for its students. The university holding the opening ceremony for its new Dream Resource Center tomorrow. Attendees can enjoy some refreshments and tour the new center, along with the Multicultural Alliance Center and the Equity Center. The new facility will offer resources and support to CSUB's undocumented students. The opening ceremony starts at 2 p.m. tomorrow on the first floor of Rowan Hall. 
The 32nd annual Holiday Cottage opens today, this morning, to fulfill wishes of foster kids in our community. 23 ABC's Daniela Garrido joins us live from the cottage with more on how you can get involved. Daniela? That's right, the holiday cheer is definitely alive in here at the Holiday Cottage, which opens today, and it's all about fulfilling wishes for foster kids right here in our community. We're gonna bring in Jaina, and tell us a little bit, how easy is this? It is so easy, all you have to do is come on down, pick a wish, and fill the wish, bring it back to us, and then you make a child smile. So we're excited to be have our grand opening today. And my favorite part is the fireplace, but I love that you guys have a quick how it works thing right here and it's as easy as one, two, three. Here you can pick a wish to grant, fulfill the wish, and then make a child smile. And actually, Alyssa Flores, she picked one out. Let's see over here. Alyssa? Yeah, Alyssa picked one out for Matthew. He is eight years old, and he wants Avengers superheroes, and he likes red and yellow, and he wants an educational toy, which I think is so, so sweet. Great. And what are some of the um, other gifts that we've seen? We've seen bikes, and we've scooters. seen... Legos, any kind of um, electronic toy, a lot of educational toys, right, yeah. today? I was surprised at how many kids want educational toys. So let me just show you some of the other ones. There's here, you could get a learning tablet or a play kitchen set for a two-year-old. Wow, that two-year-old really knows what, what they want. <laughs> like, I was like, wait a minute, she's two? Um, but it's really easy, and you can come over here to the Holiday Cottage, and you just have to pick a wish from one of these, from this tree, and then you bring it over. How many days is it again? Two to three days. If they could bring it back, that'd be awesome. Two to three yeah. days. Two to three days. So the Holiday Cottage is right next to Jay's place. It's in the same area where Studio Movie Grill is, yeah. and it's open from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. until December 16th. So you can have until then to come Come here and just pick out a wish. So for now, we're live at the Holiday Cottage. Daniela Garrido, 23 BC News, connecting you. Daniela, thank you. And with that, Thanksgiving is officially over. But do you have some lingering guests? I'm not talking about people. I'm talking about oil, maybe some cooking grease. Don't put it down the drain. There's a collection event going on today where you can get rid of it safely. People are encouraged to put any leftover oil or grease from cooking into a sealed container. Then take it to the Bakersfield Wastewater Treatment Plant, which is located on McCutcheon Road off Ash in the southwest. Workers will accept used grease for safe disposal. City officials are partnering up with North of the River to often offer a second location, this time at the NOR Sanitation District's main office on Universe Avenue off North Chester. The collection isn't just for Thanksgiving, though it runs all the way through Christmas, ending on Friday, January 10th. And we are on the lookout for the funniest kids in Kern County, and we need your help to find them for a special holiday segment. Well, this year we're putting a local twist on the hit ABC series, Kids Say the Darndest Things. We want to feature your kids at home. Send us a video of your child answering questions like, if you could tell Santa one thing, what would it be? Or anything that you feel might uh, draw a <laughs> something, sp <laughs> I don't know how to say this correctly, uh, something cute. Just something that, funny. Something, something cute and funny. Something that, that you wouldn't expect to come out of a kid's mouth. Unexpected, yeah. <laughs> there you go.